The Treasure Coast continues to grow at exponential rates. The latest development paving the way for homes, retail space, restaurants, even more. Last week, Port St. Lucie City Council approving the rezoning of this 41-acre plot of land off Village Parkway and Becker Road in tradition. And WPTV's Kate Hussey shares what's coming next and how the city plans to handle it. At the heart of tradition is a hub of activity. Hello. And as Jane Wells and her family watch. He's been playing in the splash pad, having a great time. She sees her city growing by leaps and bounds. Yes, too much if you ask me. It's amazing. It's amazing how much it's grown. We knew that growth was coming, but to see it materialize so quickly has, you know, really, really been astonishing to, to see that. It's likely growing again. Port St. Lucie City Council approving to rezone this plot of land off Becker and Village Parkway to pave the way for a new development right across from the FedEx, Amazon, and future Costco warehouses. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. According to Madame Holmes' proposed plan, at least 30% of this 41-acre plot would be residential, homes or apartments. The other 60% commercial space for retail, office space, restaurants, and likely a proposed 6,000 square foot gas station and convenience store and a 136,000 square at home improvement store. But I do have a little concern with Home Depot and Lowe's being one exit away. Vice Mayor Jolene Caraballo worrying another home improvement chain will create too much competition. Madame Homes representatives didn't confirm which store it is, but Mayor Martin doesn't think it'll be an issue. Especially the way our city is growing by leaps and bounds. But with each growth spurt comes other concern over growing pains. Like more development, more traffic. But it's, it, like I said, it's going to grow whether we want it to or not. Mayor Martin wasn't available for an interview, but city staff said in a statement the development of this region was granted 20 years ago as part of an annexation. The city says they do hold the developer accountable for all infrastructure required to sustain the growth, but can't take away rights granted decades ago. For anyone who thinks that we're just randomly allowing more residential for the sake of allowing more residential, or that there's some hidden benefit to it by the city council, that is completely false. We reached out to Madame Holmes, who declined to comment on the project but are putting in a traffic signal within 18 months of the project's approval. And that's what we wanted to see. We wanted a golf cart community. We wanted amenities surrounding us. For those who aren't so excited, those amenities may at least soften the blow. Yeah, that's true. That's true. No, I'm excited for the food trucks and the Taylor Swift thing on Friday. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> the city tells me this is just the project's first reading. It has to go through a second reading before it's officially approved. Reporting in Port St. Lucie, I'm Kate Hussey, WPTV News Channel 5.